This is what will happen to you if, if you set them up right. Oh, that's a nice fish. You know, people think that lead core fishing is tricky, it's really hard, it's, you got to be a professional fisherman to do it. But you want to know what? It's very, very simple. After I get this fish in here, I'll show you a couple small tricks and show you how easy it is actually to, ooh, this is a good fish, how, how easy it is to set up a lead core rod and to actually use it. But it's a nice walleye here. It really doesn't take any fancy equipment, just a, a good line counter reel and an average rod will, it will get the trick done with a nice soft tip. Oh, that's a nice fish. I particularly like to fish uh, lead core in late summer and early fall. Seems like these fish bulk up, they go out and hit deep structure. And when you get on the right combination, that's what you catch right there. Big old toads. It's a nice Devil's Lake walleye and lead core right there. Lead core is a great way to catch walleyes. I don't care what body of water you can fish on. It's great in the summer, the spring, and the fall. I especially like it in the fall, late September, early, early fall. Uh, a lot of misconception with lead core, everybody thinks it's really high tech and tricky. It's, base, it's real basic, actually. What I like to do is I like to get a, a good line counter reel. I don't like to go by colors. You know, lead, co co lead core is segmented at every 10 feet in colors. I don't like to go by the colors because I run multiple rods. So and all the colors are different on each rod, especially when you break some off. So I like to get a line counter and use that. But, but one thing I like to do is if I'm gonna be fishing, say 18 foot of water, I like to get my lead core rods out and get out on a flat in 18 foot of water and let out the line, and get a good starting point, say of 60 to 70 feet on a smaller crankbait like a Lindy Shadling. What I like to do is get it out there and just let out the line slowly. And as soon as I start hitting bottom, reel it up one or two feet on your line counter until it's not ticking body, bottom anymore. And then you'll know what number of feet of line out that you need to be at what depth. So there is a little bit of trial and error out there. It makes it a little bit more simpler on a guy running two or three rods in the boat or two or three people running multiple rods in the boat. Uh, pretty basic setup. I like to use the, the lead core with a like an ugly stick six and a half foot rod medium action. I like to run it down and put a tiny tiny Spro swivel on there. You can see that I just use a fisherman's knot to attach to that. The reason I like the small swivel is because it'll go through my eyes. And I, the reason I do that is because I use a 10 to 12 foot, 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. So this, the small barrel swivel allows me to reel it up through the eyes and up to the reel so I can get the lure closer to the rod tip so I can net fish a lot easier. At the end of that, I like to use a snap swivel because I change lures constantly. Uh, normally number five or number seven shadling is my go-to lure colors. It all depends on the day and what the fish are looking for. Okay, here's a couple things I like to do when I'm letting the line on the line cone. First of all, zero out your, your, line, your foot meter. What I like to do is ride my thumb on there so you don't get any backlashes and let the line out slow. A lot of people want to just quick peel that line out while lead core sinks. And if you just peel out 80 foot of line, all of a sudden that, that line will just sink to the bottom. Then when you engage your reel, your lure is going to be, boom, right on the bottom and you're going to get snagged. Unless you're fishing sand, but still, you don't want anything getting fouled up on your lure. Um, another thing is lead core is very speed sensitive. So when you're out there, like I said before, and you get out there and you're experimenting to see how deep your lures are going to run for how many feet of line you have out, you also have to pay attention to your speed. Um, lead core, and like any other line, when you, when you speed up, it's going to raise. And when you slow down, it's going to sink. That's the thing with lead core. So you always want to keep your speed within a tenth of a mile an hour. I typically like to pull lead core from two to two and a half miles an hour. 2.2 is about my favorite. So if I'm going, say, example, at uh, 17 foot of water, and I know I need 80 foot of line out, if we drop off an edge and I'm going 2.2 miles an hour and I want those lures to sink a little bit, I can drop it down to 1.8 just to let those lures kind of flutter down that brake line. And as I come back up on that brake line, I can bump that speed back up and my lures will lift up and always be in the strike zone.